Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about completing the installation of Ghidra on CSI Linux. Ghidra is a software reverse engineering framework developed by NSA's Research Directorate for NSA's cybersecurity mission. Ghidra helps analyze malicious code and malware and gives cybersecurity professionals a better understanding of potential vulnerabilities in their networks and systems. Ghidra was first released to the public by the NSA in 2019 after being referenced in a WikiLeaks March 2017 Vault 7 disclosure, which discussed several hacking tools used by the CIA disclosing Ghidra as a reverse engineering tool created by the NSA. Up inside of your CSI Linux virtual machine, You'll note that you do have an icon down here in the taskbar that points to Ghidra, but when you click on it, it does nothing. Now the reason it does nothing is because it is dependent upon Java, and this is a Ubuntu installation, which does not come with Java, so we're going to need to install it. For this lab demonstration, I will be using one installation of VirtualBox, and it has the latest extension pack. One virtual install of the latest version of CSI Linux, and my VirtualBox adapter has been set to NAT Network. So the first thing we have to do with CSI Linux is ensure that it has been updated and upgraded to the latest version, so that we have all the latest tools downloaded and installed. Now to do this, on CSI Linux, we're going to open up a terminal. Let's go ahead and improve the view here. So now everybody should be able to see my prompt quite clearly. Let's go ahead and type in power up. For CSI Linux, we use the command power up to perform an upgrade and an update of the system. So I'm going to go ahead and ensure that that is spelled correctly and hit enter. It's going to watch your CSI password. Type in CSI and go ahead and click OK. So this is going to take a little bit of time, but once it has completed the update and the upgrading, we'll come back and move on with the rest of the lab. CSI Linux has restarted. So let's go ahead and log in. Type in my password, CSI. Hit enter. Let's go ahead and recover our desktop. Now to do this, I'm just going to right click here on the desktop. I'm going to go to desktop settings. I'm going to go ahead and select my background image and I'm going to say stretch and from there I'm just going to close and there we're back to where we were now the next thing we want to do is perform a snapshot so I'm going to go up here to machine and I'm going to say take a snapshot and I'll just give this a user friendly name go ahead and say okay to that it only takes a couple of seconds less than a minute for this thing to back up and create a snapshot of your current system state. So we've opened up a new terminal. I've increased the font size. And this first command that we're going to run is going to begin the process of installing Java on Ubuntu, or in this case, CSI Linux. All right, so let's go ahead and type in our password. Now all these commands will be available up inside of the lab file or if you're watching this on YouTube the description for the video go ahead and hit enter and now you're going to have to hit enter one more time to agree it's a small package it doesn't take long for it to download let's go ahead and clear the screen now this next command is actually going to install that package we just downloaded for Java so at the prompt you see that I've typed in app space install and that's the name of the package that we need to install that we just downloaded and I ask you again if you want to continue type in Y for yes so we got that package installed and let's go ahead and clear the screen now we need to run one more command and that's going to install the headless version of the package that we just installed let's go ahead and type that in hit enter and we see that this is already installed for us. We're good to go. Now I've shown you one way that we can launch Ghidra, and that was using the shortcut that is available to us in the taskbar. That's down here. Now the other way that you can launch Ghidra is by going up here to the application launcher. 
And here we can scroll on down until we come to malware analysis and reverse engineering. And you'll see that in the next context menu, Ghidra is available to us. Go ahead and click that, give it a second, and it will launch. So the first thing you're going to have to do is agree to the user a license. And I agree. That's going to pop this up. Now give it a second. It's going to let you know that it is running a particular version of Ghidra along with Java 11. And the next thing that pops up is the Ghidra help menu. Now you can go ahead and go through this if you like, or you can just close it out. You have access to it up inside of Ghidra. It's available to you up inside of the help area right here. Then you're going to have to decide whether or not you want to see a tip every time you open up Ghidra. I don't need to see that. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And now we are at the main page for Ghidra. Now to ensure that we don't have any problems with getting access to some of the control buttons on Ghidra, let's go ahead and change our taskbar down here to disappear when we don't need it. Now to do this, I'm just going to right click anywhere on the taskbar. I'm going to go to Panel Preferences. Once this opens up, I'm going to scroll on down here where it says Automatically Hide the Panel. I'm going to change that from Never to Always. Go ahead and close that out. And you'll notice that my panel disappears. But if I just put my mouse down here, you'll notice that the panel comes right back. We're now all set up to be able to use Ghidra to perform some type of reverse engineering or malware analysis. And we're going to be doing that in my next video. So until then, if you got any questions or concerns about anything that you saw in this video, don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor. And I'll see you in my next video.